everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing it again, I'm clearing out my wardrobe, but this time I feel like I'm clearing it out to start again. The last couple of times I cleared out my wardrobe that I will link down below, I didn't really add anything afterwards, I just cleared out, I've been wearing the clothes that, you know, I've had for the last, gosh, maybe six months, and I've worn them all over and over and over again, and there's still certain things I haven't touched. Obviously there's like summer things, but most of my summer things are away anyway, so I want to do one final clear out today, and then I want to start like reinvesting in some like new pieces, some things that I'm gonna keep forever, and just things that make me feel really good when I wear them. So you know the drill, the things that I will be passing on will be over on my Depop, which is at Emily Cannum, and Depop have actually very, very kindly sponsored part of this video, and later on in the video I'll be showing you how I use the app, how easy it is to sell on there, what kind of things I buy through Depop, and all things like that. So yeah, if you want to see that, make sure you stay tuned until after I've emptied my closet out. And you can see my Depop tips and tricks for kind of growing a following on there, which makes it easier to sell. And yeah, the kind of shops that I follow on Depop, what I buy on there, because I feel like it's very different to a lot of other people that I follow that use Depop. But anyway, let's get going. I also just want to say Depop, I feel like I really manifested this sponsorship because I walk past your offices, well I used to, every time I got my nails done I would leave Liverpool Street and I would walk to get my nails and I would walk past your office every time and every time I'd be like one day, one day and today is the day so it works, manifestation works. <laughs> okay so welcome to my bedroom, this is my main closet, I have my clothes in here, my wardrobe and I have drawers which are under you which have my like loungewear knitwear things like that and then on the chair behind me you probably spotted i have some jeans and some bits and bobs to go on depop that my sister gave me that she doesn't want anymore and she was just like there you go someone will love them so yeah they're gonna go in front of depop as well so i have my tops in this side and it's crazy okay so to put it in perspective i'll link my dressing room tour down below when i lived in my own place i had a whole room like a whole dressing room and for tops I had like four, I think four different sections. I had one, two, one, yeah, I had four different sections. And now these are my only tops. Like I have really, really, really consolidated my like clothing collection. I see it as a collection because it's all things that I love. And if I look into my wardrobe and I don't see something I love or it sits there and doesn't get worn, I'm more willing to part with it now because it just feels like weight, it feels like baggage, and I'm not about that. Okay, so I have kind of crop tops here, then we go into white short sleeves, white long sleeve, we have beiges, and then we have my couple coloured pieces, literally two, and then my black t-shirt. So in these videos I do go through every single item, but you know, at a speed, I know what's in my wardrobe pretty well, though, so, let's get going. I feel like I have to give this disclaimer for anyone concerned, any loose or random hangers will be removed at the end of this. They do not live there. All right, so we have the brown crop top. I recently got that from Nasty Gal. I really like that. I know in the summer that will be an absolute staple for me. We then have this Urban Outfitters crop top. I mean, it's just easy, so I'm gonna keep that. I am gonna pass on this Urban Outfitters crop top though because it just doesn't fit me very nicely. So that is gonna go onto my Depop. And then we just have some random hangers. This is one of the Zara, is it the Contour Collection? I'm pretty sure. So good keeping that. We have this Topshop kind of racer top. I haven't worn this in ages, but I don't really know how it fits. So I'm gonna try that on because it feels quite soft and I tend to like my crop top's a bit tighter just so I feel like I don't have to wear a bra. And then we have this blue one which is from Urban Again. See, I wear this and I never feel very good in it. And I look at pictures when I wear it and I'm like, uh, not really my vibe, but it's very easy. So I'm going to keep it and or maybe I'll try it on. I'll try it on and we'll see. We're being ruthless. This is going to go, I got this for Coachella. Again, Urban Outfitters. I feel like I've kind of just outgrown Urban Outfitters a bit now, which... Sounds really weird to say because I really like their things, but I just think I'm not that like edgy, grungy anymore. Do you know what I mean? And then finally, we have this from Zara, which I am gonna keep. I originally bought it for Coachella, but never wore it because we know why. Uh, but yeah, I still really like it. We're doing well already, look. Oh, uh, see, I'm like, I shouldn't keep that because it's not that nice, but it's easy. These are all of my white tops. I love white tops. They are the easiest thing in the world. So we have this And Other Stories vest, which I am going to keep. I really like that. 
I have this Zara top which is really sweet. You know when you go for like a picnic or something along the lines of that in the summer where you need like a cutesy top, like a, a cutesy and shorts kind of outfit. This again is the same vibe, cutesy and shorts. It's like five years old but I really like it and it's easy and I just know I feel good in it. Zara crop top, I'm gonna keep it. They're literally like seven pounds, I think, something like that. Really affordable and they're the best. This Converse top, this is something that like I don't wear often but it was a gift and I really like it and I can't ever see myself getting rid of it. I have this Abercrombie like bodysuit. It's really soft. It's part of their cozy collection and again I don't wear it particularly often but it is really cozy. This Zara top. This is quite good for meetings. It's a slightly cropped one so it looks good with a nice pair of like mid-rise trousers. This Hollister linen blend shirt. I'm gonna try this on because I don't know if it's big enough. I mean it's it's a large, but we'll see. I tend to find I prefer tops like that, especially if I'm like on holiday and I want to feel like loungy, like I want them really oversized. I have this Zara white top. I never wear this because it's really hard to like not get it creased. And I'm holding it up to myself right now and I'm like, Emily, that's just not very nice. What do you think? I don't know if it's just a bit slouchy, like I'm not a very slouchy person on my top half. I'd rather have like slouchy jeans and a crop top, like literally this. I'm trying to think what I'd actually wear this with and I, in the summer, wore it with a pair of shorts and it still looked bad. But these are easy to have, that's the problem. But if I never wear it, is there a point in having it? I'm gonna try it on. This All Saints top, I wore this so much last summer, it's just so gorgeous, tucked into a pair of shorts. And then finally, this And Other Stories top, which again, not really like my vibe right now, but great for meetings and times where I need to be a bit more formal and it's just always good to have that option that doesn't belong there on to my beige items so firstly we have one of the under the stories vests that is staying it's the most awesome thing and again a zara crop top are you seeing the pattern here wait until we get to black it might carry on who knows i have this zara shirt i've never actually worn this but i've not really had the opportunity because i got this just before the first lockdown i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep it because it's quite fun i think like on holiday i'd wear this in the evening not that I have any holidays planned. And then again, these are all kind of linen-y shirts, which are very holiday appropriate. This is a Zara one. I would definitely wear that on holiday, so I'm going to keep that. And then this is, is this, I think this is Zara as well. I don't think I've actually ever worn this. No, I haven't. This is more like a dress. Again, I will so wear that on holiday. And finally, we have this uh, And Other Stories over shirt. I love this. It's like a pinky kind of linen blend. And... In the summer, I was wearing this, literally this outfit. I would wear this crop top, these shorts, but I, I cut them, they're a bit shorter now. And I'd wear this over the top with a pair of like docks or like a chunky trainer. And I really liked how that looked. But then I'm looking at that and I'm like, do I need all three? Maybe I try these two on and I'm gonna pick one to keep. So stick around for the try on. This top is by Rosie Rowe. Rosie is a YouTuber, but mainly she is a fashion designer. She has her own brand. And this is completely handmade in the UK. It's stunning and I don't think I will ever get rid of this. Oh, we have a random crop top. This is Urban Outfitters. This is lovely. It just belongs over here. Next up is this And Other Stories bodysuit it's like a sweetheart neckline it's really lovely and then we have this and other stories kind of floral top i tend to use this to layer i don't wear this as like a piece on its own but it's a really nice layering piece and i actually really like the next to layer because they're not too like you can't see them under anything they're not too much but i don't think this belongs in my wardrobe i think this belongs in like my my t-shirt drawer my layering drawer onto the black section so, oh, it's in the wash. Well, anyway, you get the vibe. We have the Zara Racerback crop top. We have the Under the Stories vest top. And in the wash, we have the long sleeve cropped Zara crop top. Do you crop, yeah, you know what I mean. Do you get the vibe? I wear the white one or the beige one or the black one with a pair of jeans. And that is my look right now. <laughs> so embarrassing. This is the Zara bodysuit. I'm gonna keep this, it's really handy. I've got just a bunch of black t-shirts. I really like wearing these. So I've got this Metallica Banty. I got this for my birthday. I really like this. It's so comfy and it's an amazing shape. This is an ASOS backless actually nitty crop i love that fun fact my back is like one of my favorite parts of my body which i know sounds so stupid but i just really like my back and i love a top that shows it off we then have this which is a zara long t-shirt but i can't tell if i've washed this and it's gone a bit weird or if it just needs a wash like i can't tell if i tumble dried it i don't think i have or maybe i have i don't know either way it's really handy especially for like if I'm like going out for dinner, I just want to shove a little skirt on and that over the top, super easy. Again, another kind of work appropriate v-neck top. I've got my Gucci vest top. I got this for Christmas. It's actually from Gucci Kids. 
and then this like black overshirt from Zara which you can wear as a dress and I have worn as a dress but I have it in with my tops because I tend to just wear it open with like you know this outfit underneath do we get my fashion i need to change it up and then finally we have this zara top which i probably should have got rid of like two years ago but i just can't bring myself to do it because i love it and i never wear it but i love it so much and it's going straight back in the wardrobe <laughs> moving over we have my knitwear i don't have much of it hung up because i don't want to damage it but these are just the bits that i don't have in my drawer so i've got a few check shirts obviously both of which are staying this is from poster this is lovers and friends from revolve and then we have some cardigans this is zara zara this matches the little crop bralette now i am going to pass on this cardigan this is primark I, i've loved and worn this but i've been you know we've been in lockdown for so long and i've not picked it out once and if there's ever a time to wear a loungewear cardigan it's going to be when you're at home and i haven't picked it out so it tells me everything i need to know have this MS plain black jumper it's like a cashmere blend it's really nice my end of the story is love heart cardigan that i wore on valentine's that's going to stay in my collection forever again another and other stories cardigan and another one they're just brilliant to have and then i have my duty tracksuit again i don't really wear it but it's definitely not something i'm going to get rid of because i know there'll be like an event or something or like a birthday party where it's like wear your velour tracksuit and then i'll be like like, oh no so yeah i'm absolutely keeping that and it actually has my initials embroidered on which is really special to me i have a black one as well but really really weird actually i only seem to have the trousers here and i actually did see a miss sophie cannon wearing a juicy hoodie with the initials ec on it so don't know how that happened um and i don't know how suddenly she's helping herself to my wardrobe but it is what it is so that is that side of my wardrobe done and i'm still looking at it looking like it's a bit of a a mix and there's definitely things i shouldn't be keeping but oh, do you, know, you know what i mean i'm like oh, can't bring myself to do it i just thought it's worth me saying if you're looking at this thinking emily like you definitely have other clothes you know i've seen you wear this or i know you love this and i can't see it there is a good chunk of my clothes are actually in la and obviously because of covid i haven't been able to get there well I, it's just not safe for me to get there if you know what i mean if i needed to i could but i don't so there's a bunch of my things like my green uh hollister like check shirt that i love my gorgeous zara like actually most of my gorgeous zara dresses are there my gorgeous white crop zara top is there I'm trying to think what else my chanel espadrilles my gucci trainers <laughs> like so much and i just haven't been able to get hold of it for over a year and it's so annoying and there's been so many times where i'm like mm, do i get it sent back to the uk just so i feel like i can start again but i haven't yet i don't know we'll see but it's definitely going to be an experience like seeing that stuff for the first time because a lot of it's my favorite things okay welcome to my jeans and dress section let's start in this side so these are all of my skirts i've got a green and other stories one that i'm going to keep zara one which i'm going to keep obviously it still has tags on because i've not had the chance to wear it but it's lovely and fits so well and then we have my and other stories velvet one i still do have my and other stories leather skirt it's just on my new in rail because i haven't shot it yet and i really want to shoot it because it's such a gorgeous piece and then i have this pair of really random zara trousers now i always keep these because these are really handy for like events or like smarter dinners or whatever and like when i don't have like time i can just put those on with a nice top and it's a really easy outfit because they are still long enough with heels and then i have some white trousers same thing really just more formal events they're good to have these are french connection they fit so nicely i wore these in paris one time and they're just lovely i have a pair of zara trousers you actually saw me wear these on Instagram, um, like just before Christmas, I actually had to go and get a different size and they had, the other one's actually broke, like the zip just popped and I sent them back and I was like, well, it's kind of good luck that they broke because I needed a different size anyway and I'd already worn them, but also not great, like quality wise. I have a pair of trousers from Celeb Boutique that I still haven't, I'm gonna try these on because these are supposed to be like a Christmas piece. Obviously I haven't had the chance to wear them, but now I'm not worn them in a bit. I'm like, hmm, do I wanna pass them on or keep them? Okay. I have my Aritzia leather trousers. I need to get these tailored when it's safe to do so, but I do really like those. And then I have these, like, oh, they're vegan leather, by the way, and these are also vegan leather. Uh, I got these from a brand that I found on Instagram. They're just, like, a green colour. I would just wear these with, like, literally the top I'm wearing right now, and 
maybe my air force or even like if i wanted to like dress it up some heels oh my goodness some heels <laughs> um, but these are really nice they just smelt a bit like fish when i bought them which was kind of annoying and then we get onto my jeans section now i know one of these for sure is going and i know probably some of you are going to disagree with me but trust me i don't wear them so we have my black jamie jeans that i've cut at the bottom we have my gray jamie well black black washed out gray jamie jeans that have the split just there these these have washed out a lot i might actually dye these a bit more black with one of those just dial on like washing machine dyes we have my coated black jamie jeans we have <laughs> oh where are the others oh well, all my other Jamie jeans are in the wash. We have this pair of Zara jeans that I always keep. And I really shouldn't because they don't fit me properly. So I'm going to try those on and decide if it's finally time to pass those on. We have my two-tone jeans. I can never remember if these are Bershka or Pull and Bear. They're Pull and Bear. These are lovely. They were like £24. So well priced. They're two-tone. They fit amazingly. If you're looking for like that straight leg style jean that's actually tight at the waist and long enough, have a look on Pull and Bear. They're so good. Then we have my Levi's 501 cropped that I wear pretty much every single day. And then we have the ones that are leaving us. These are the Topshop Jad jad jeans dad jeans and they are the ones that have the really awesome crossover kind of fasten can you see and i like these but they don't fit me properly i've had a these these are a 25 i had a 26 no or these are 24 these are a waist 24 i've had a waist 25 and a waist 24 and they're just not they don't fit me right so i'm passing those on those will be on my depop I have a pair of linen trousers from under the stories now. These didn't fit me properly last year. I definitely should have sized up because I didn't realise they were drawstring. But I'm going to try them on. We'll see how they fit because maybe they fit me now. I love them and I have obviously the matching over shirt. So I really want them to fit. They just, they were a bit short on me. <laughs> that was the problem. But we'll see how they look now. These are a pair of just zara trousers again really handy to have i have a lot of things in my wardrobe that are just handy for like meetings and smarter events i have my and other stories linen blend trousers i wish i'd sized down in these really i got a 10 and i wish i got an 8 because they're a bit baggy but these are one of my best purchases ever if they if these come back on the website this year which and other stories tend to do that with their clothing they bring back their popular pieces then i'll absolutely share them because they are the best thing i've ever purchased i've got my white mango jeans i actually got these tailored i haven't worn these and they fit me like an absolute glove i need to wear these more these are so easy to pop on with like a nice top and then i've got my and other stories skirt which really i should pass on because it's too big I should have got the size down. I'm going to try it on and we'll see. But you know one of those things at the time where you convince yourself it's fine, but it's not. But you tell yourself it is, but it's not, so you never wear it. On to my dresses. Now, you'll probably notice this is a very small selection of my dresses. All of my kind of short summary dresses are up in storage. And then these are just like the dresses I would wear in like autumn, winter. So, firstly, we have this Top Shop dress. This is really, really lovely. Just really good to have i know that sounds so like repetitive me saying that but when this is something that i would wear if i was going to like a foreign country and i need to like cover up a bit more or if i was going to like an event where i knew i had to wear a dress but i wanted to like be a bit more covered i didn't know what the situation was going to be like didn't know if i feel comfortable this is a great one and then we have my french connection just like ribbed dress i wear this a lot so easy this is a zara dress that my mum absolutely hates my sister hates they all think it's so ugly and i'm gonna pass it on because peer pressure and i don't think it's ugly i think it's so nice but i get that it's maybe a bit more grown up than me next up is this zara dress i've had this for about five years i'll absolutely never never let this go this makes me feel so special i love wearing this on holiday it's got a low back it's long enough this with a pair of like black chanel espadrilles is like my go-to outfit for when i'm abroad and i don't actually know why that's still in my wardrobe because that's definitely not awesome winter we then have this new cohort from is it cohort or just like a set from all saints it's a really nice jumper and a slip dress underneath these from all saints are amazing that's one thing that i do have in la i've got the like it's like a pinky version of this and it's got a white crops t-shirt under it so good i wore it to um the summertime ball when busted played with the jonas brothers you can see it in that video and then i've got this dress i kept this out because i thought i could put like a t-shirt under it and wear it with tights and docks but like i'm 23 and i don't really think i can get away with that anymore which makes me so sad <laughs> like at what point do i have to stop wearing crop tops because i don't think i'm anywhere near that like I don't know what I'm supposed to wear if I can't wear crop tops anymore. We then have my gorgeous Topshop dress. I got this. This is inside out. I wore this to meet Selena Gomez and 
it will, oh there's the slip and it will forever remind me of that day i will never ever 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 pass on this dress i know it doesn't really look like much but when i wear it i feel so good and it's just yeah it's the perfect length the perfect size it's got a really nice slip underneath so you're covered and it looks great with everything like shoe wise that i like to wear and accessory wise so that is staying next up we have my christmas day dress this is from and other stories again this will never leave me this will be staying forever i feel amazing in this and then we have a hanger this zara dress which i tend to just wear belt it and I haven't worn it really this year but again for if I have like an event or a meeting that I need to be a bit more dressy for but it's like daytime that with tights and docks is so easy and then I have this under the stories wow my whole wardrobe is under the stories I bought this like three years ago for new years I wore this for new years into 20 2019 I wore this for new years 2019 into 2020 no 2018 into 20 what no yeah, I wore this in New Year's 2018 into 2019. Wow, that's scary. That's kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm keeping that, it's a bit short for me, but I'm keeping it for men's. And then these are just some of my dressy dresses, which really should be in the other wardrobe, but it's not like there's not room in here. So those are my dresses. We have my trousers and skirts, and then, yeah. How crazy is that? So this is what my stash of things is looking at right now. So these are the definite Depop things. So we've got some Zara, some Topshop, some Primark, some Urban Outfitters. And then this is my pile of to try on to decide if we're going to Depop or not. So let me get trying. So this is a really tricky one because I adore this skirt. But it's just a bit gapy at the waist, which is so annoying because how I want to wear it, I want it to be like, do you know what I mean? To accentuate my silhouette, I want to wear like a really nice top that I can maybe tuck in or like a piece of knitwear and it just doesn't sit right like it moves around too much I want it to be like that and I don't think it's the type of material that really I could get adjusted I don't know but I paid so much money for this and in my head it looked so gorgeous but I just don't wear it so I think I am gonna have to pass this one on or I'm just not making or I'm just not making any progress so these are the trousers now to be fair they fit me a lot better now than they did last summer I put on a bit of weight last summer just locked down <laughs> life and yeah i mean they fit me a lot better now and they don't look as like jack up -y. so i think i'll keep these because they're definitely an amazing summer piece but i might see this year like if they bring them out again then i'll probably buy the larger size and then pop these on depop but i'm definitely not willing to get rid of them until i got a replacement because they are literally the perfect shade they're like a lovely like pinky linen and then obviously the overshirt to match it's just something that i'm not willing to give up unless i've got like the next size up so yeah these are staying for now so this is my difficulty with these jeans because they don't fit me they don't and when i wear them i have to pull them up to like high-waisted and i belt them and then they look like jack ups and there's just all this gaping when i like do the belt and it doesn't look right so do i do i get them like you know tailored smaller so they fit me because they are really nice jeans and they're so comfy and so soft or do I just accept the fact that they are too big and I need to pass them on let me know what you think I should do I'm also going to go and ask my mum because I mean it would there's quite a lot to be taken out and I don't know if the seamstress that does my stuff would look at me and laugh I don't know but do you know what I mean it's just not I couldn't wear these without a belt but then again they are so see they're so soft Zara denim I'm not, I can't wear it that often because of my height, but occasionally when they nail it, they really nail it. Okay, yes, good purchase, Emily, these are staying. They're velvet trousers, they're like bootleg, are they bootleg or are they like flowy leg? What, what do you call them? Flared leg? Wide leg? I don't know. Um, but they fit so nicely and they're long, which means I can wear them with heels and they'll still kind of, you know, drape on the floor a little bit, but... Yeah, I feel really good in these, so I'm glad I tried these on because they're something that I kind of looked at in my wardrobe and I was like, why do I still have those? But great decision, very happy with those. So before you tell me what you think to these, I'm going to show you both of them. So this is the first one. Now, my negatives with this is the neckline's a bit odd and it's not quite long enough for me to wear done up as like, you know, a t-shirt, but I love the colour of this linen. It's really nice. The sleeves are a bit weird, but I could just roll those up. So that's the first one. I feel like I've put this on straight away and it already looks 10 times uglier than the last one. Uh, it's way more like brown. So this one you can wear as a dress. And do you know what? The belt is really nice. It's like a, what do you even call it? It's like a natural woven belt. What do you think? I don't know. I feel like this looks really ugly. And this has been hung up in my wardrobe. So imagine how creased it would be after you like put it in your suitcase, take it on the plane. I also don't like the arms. Ah, mm. 
but I'm not, maybe I just need to pass both of them on. Let me know what you think. This is the Hollister linen shirt. I'm definitely gonna pass this on because if I'm wearing like a linen shirt on holiday, I wanna wear it over my bikini and I want it to like cover my bum and it's just not quite big enough. It's a bit too fitted. I mean, it's nice if I had to do it up and like actually wear it as a shirt, but now I've tucked it in and this with a bralette. See, that's nice. It's the creasiness that bothers me, but that's just what happens with these tops, isn't it? Let me know what you think. I just think I need to accept defeat and get rid of this. It's really nice. It feels really nice, but it's just, just not, not for me. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought it was nice. It doesn't look right on me. Oh, it's way tighter than it looked. It's just longer. I'm absolutely going to keep this. This is so easy to wear with like, not these shorts because the long and the long doesn't look right, but with a shorter pair of shorts, this would be great with a skirt, easy. I actually remember buying this. I bought it from Topshop, I think it was six pounds. And this was before like the racer back thing was a trend and I didn't really wear it. And then it came in and I was like, perfect. I have one of those in my wardrobe. So this is the Urban Outfitters top. I am gonna pass this on. The last time I wore this was actually to Disneyland in California. We went with Dougie and Maddie and it was a really nice day. And on that day, I decided that I was never gonna wear this top again, and I haven't, so. So it's at this point that I start to go through and put things on Depop. Now, before I start doing that, I will go through and do like a quality control of all of the items, make sure that nothing's dirty or nothing's broken or there's no holes or anything like that. And then my mum also goes and checks them all as well because she's a queen. And anything that, you know, has been worn once or has been worn will be washed. And anything that's new with tags obviously won't be. And then I start to photograph them. So this is what my Depop profile looks like. And my kind of top tips when it comes to Depop is all about the quality of your images and your descriptions. Now, obviously for me, I've grown a following on there, so it's kind of easier for me to be a bit like more relaxed with what my images look like. However, if you are new to Depop, make sure your pictures are like crystal clear in amazing lighting and they all kind of fit the same like theme. So maybe shoot them in the same place or make sure like the lighting's all the same on them so they give the same vibe. And then a massive thing to getting people to kind of find your items is product descriptions. So make sure you tag the size the brand, the type of item. Make sure that you describe everything really, really well because reviews really help you get sales. So if you say something's new and it's not new, chances are they're gonna know that and then they're gonna give you a review that's not gonna be very good and that will put someone else off buying. So make sure you're completely honest. It's all about growing a good reputation on there. So yeah, like I said, make sure you've got your product tags. You can also use hashtags, but make sure they're relevant to the item because no one wants to see something irrelevant in like a hashtag. What's also really cool is if you know like a celebrity has worn it or something like that, you can tag them. So if you look on the Emily Cannon hashtag, a lot of people are selling clothes that I've previously worn. And yeah, if you're looking for a specific item from a celebrity that or like a YouTuber or someone like that, that's a really cool way to find them. And my final kind of suggestion when it comes to like your profile, your product descriptions, things like that, is that if your item is near new, maybe new with tags or you've worn it once or twice, it's quite a good idea to get the recommended retail price in there so people know what you paid for it. So say you bought like jeans from Topshop for like 40 pounds, you wore them once and you put in the description box, Topshop Janie jeans, worn once, this size, I paid this much for them and then you can kind of justify the price you're asking a bit more because if you just put a pair of jeans on for like 25 pounds and people are like, wow, that's expensive, but they didn't realize that new they're 40 pounds. Do you know what I mean? You know, you've got to give people a full picture. And then going on to Depop, how I use it as like a customer. So if you go onto my profile and you go onto my likes, you can see a ton of things that I've kind of liked that maybe I wanna buy, or I like the look of, or I like the Depop shop. So for me, I'm a creature of habit, and I have certain items in my wardrobe that I love and I wear, but obviously shops don't stop them forever. So there was this one specific Zara skirt that I loved. I had it in an extra small, but obviously I grew, I got older, I got bigger, and I grew out of it. And I managed to find that on Depop. I also love Depop for clothes that, maybe the shipping on them is really expensive, so like American Eagle jeans, I bought a few pairs on there a ton of like, you know the Australian Instagram boutiques, like Sabo Skirt, is it Eve and, I don't know what it's called, wait they're in my recent search, Maury and Eve, uh, Bird and Kite, because the shipping on those from Australia is like £25, I don't want to pay that, so yeah, I always keep an eye on them searches, see if anything comes up that I like, and then obviously it's already within the country, and then kind of like pricier things, like I've got, in my recent search, I've got Free People, Aviator Nation, 
uh, Aritzia, Reformation, so all things like that which are very high priced items new that I don't really want to pay that much for. <laughs> I could easily get second hand on Depop. There was a really nice Burberry swimming costume that I so almost bought. I didn't buy it in the end but I so almost bought which is really nice. So yeah you can find a lot of gems and one of my massive tips is that if you find something like maybe you found like a Reformation dress that you thought was really nice, make sure you then go and check on that person's profile because chances are they're selling some other things in your size that you might really like as well so yeah that's how i personally use depop let me know how you use depop make sure you follow me if you don't already i'm now going to go and list all of these bits onto my profile if you want to go and shop any of them my you can check out my reviews on there they're pretty good i think i've got a five star i have a five star <laughs> you can check that out yeah i'm really proud of my depop like I built a really nice platform on there of people that, you know, love the things that I pop on there. And it's really nice to know that my clothes are going to a home that are going to love them and use them. Like, I sold this one dress on there that was my Zara red kind of floral dress. I, I grow emotional attachments to my dresses, okay? It's bad, but I do. And the girl literally messaged me about it. She was like, don't worry, I'll look after your baby. And then she sent me a picture of her wearing it. And it was just, it honestly, you know, you have the moments where it like makes your heart jump. It just, it, oh, it's not, I can't find it. So yeah, that made me really happy. But anyway, I'm gonna go and do that. Thank you so so much for joining me in this video Let me know if you want me to go through and clear out all of my drawers I mean, it's they're a bit boring. It's like loungewear So let me know if you want me to do that But I do have some like new clothing videos coming up because I need to make some purchases I need to find some new jeans that fit me properly I want to get some like straight leg jeans and I also need some new tops because all I seem to wear is this in white and black and then the long crop top in white and black and beige and the vest top. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.